kindergartner. I'm like kindergartner. Common theme. Your son. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, my son. <laughs> <laughs> um, was starting an artist community always the goal, or did it evolve and like become more apparent over time? I think it was always my goal. Um, yeah, I think it was. We studied printmaking at BCU, and it was mm-hmm. so. Um, I came to it fairly late, and it was so much more rewarding for me. In you know, I think it was late in my junior year. Um, I loved it so much more than like the solitary environment mm-hmm. of painting. I loved that there was the ability to make multiples and to kind of react to them and change the process mm-hmm. throughout, so it didn't feel as precious or risky or um, highbrow. In some ways, I loved how democratic it was, and mm-hmm. that I think is reflected in the nature of a print shop and of a shared studio environment where people are automatically, you know, interacting, sharing thoughts, ideas, and that's that's sort of the like ephemeral magic of the you place. Sound just like the beauty of print. <laughs> um, who has supported you the most in your career? Um, my partner, probably. Um, mm-hmm. I think he's made lots of sacrifices in terms of his time and um, you know, keeping our children when I have to work late nights and listening to me complain about something that isn't working or help me brainstorm other things. Like, um, I think he's he's definitely like my partner in crime. <laughs> <laughs> um, we kind of already talked about like widescreen printing, but um, do you have any other favorite um, media? Yeah, I really enjoy. Um, etching, I just don't do it very often mm-hmm. because it is a much more time consuming process. Um, so that when it comes down to it, I typically have a few hours to make something. So screen printing is, is the quicker and kind of faster, looser process. But I do, I think etching is really beautiful. I love dry point. I love that whole, mm-hmm. that whole process. And actually hadn't really done much screen printing before I started Studio 2.3. I just definitely came to it as an etcher and wanted to keep that process mm-hmm. going. Um, that was all my question, but okay, I came up with another one, but like, where do you see the future? I know that the auction you talked about, like the next 10 years. Yeah. But, um, yeah. The big, broad the big picture, yeah. I mean, I think the, the big picture right now is honestly we're um, 75% through a strategic planning process mm-hmm. um, that will give us a plan for the next three years. And I think that's kind of the, um, the practical time period that you can't plan for an organization because of how quickly external factors change and internal things change and audiences change and all of that being change being the constant um so we're really we're doubling down on artist support services so both the facility itself and then the quality of classes um you know maintaining equipment providing opportunities to sell work um so really coming back to the fact that artists are the core of the organization um really working on raising funds and capacity for staff and infrastructure to do all of the other things we do. Um, and then the third is really like investing in a, the Richmond community as a wider whole and supporting basically artistic endeavors of people who need to have a platform to share their voices, to, to make work, um, and doing that through partnerships with other organizations. Also wonderful. Um, What's your favorite color? Black. Does that count? Is black yeah. a color? Yeah, I mean, it's like an absence of color. Yeah, I. Black and pink, probably. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. For your time. You're very welcome. I'm gonna go do my. Look at your phone. <laughs>